This is Big Tom Wilson, the hunter and guide that located Dr. Mitchell's body. They organized a search party when he didn't come back to his cabin and he was expected there. Big Tom Wilson served in the Civil War as a young man, came back home to Yancey County, and he became a well-known hunter and guide. No one ever killed more bear in the whole eastern United States than Big Tom. Big Tom Wilson is the great, great, great uncle of my children. My husband's family is from this area. Big Tom Wilson was born in 1825 and died in 1908. And to this day, there's a large fan club and people that support him. There is a peak near here that is named Big Tom. He was honored in 1947 by the state of North Carolina when the highest peak in Mount Mitchell was renamed Big Tom. There is also a preserve that's 8,445 um, acres that is called um, Big Tom Wilson Reserve, Preserve, excuse me. Big Tom lived off of his fame. He became very famous after this happened and people would come from everywhere just to talk with him. I mean, he would sit on the front porch of his cabin and tell everybody the stories about how he found the body of Dr. Mitchell. Here's Big Tom Wilson's son. He's pictured after killing his 100th bear. He only killed 113 bears, one short of the 114 killed by his famous father in his lifetime. Big Tom in the Civil War was a Confederate chief musician of the brigade commanded by General Robert B. Vance. He played his fife. His uncle, William Wilson, guided Dr. Mitchell on his first mountain trip in 1835. Ewart Wilson, Big Tom's grandson, built the Big Tom Wilson Motor Road in 1925. This toll road, along with tourist facilities and staff gap, was maintained by the Wilson family for years. And these are from Big Tom's cabin, his butter churn, and his lantern, of course, and just the minimum of cookware. At age 70, there was a famous geologist here to identify deciduous and natural plants to North Carolina and he also was lost and presumed dead. And at age 70, Big Tom organized a crew of people and they were able to locate and find the man's body and bring him back to his family. So Big Tom Wilson's a pretty cool guy. And I hope you enjoyed this. Oh, there's a carving of Big Tom Wilson by Mr. David Boone. He's a great, great grandson of Big Tom. He's been carving for about 20 years and he did this carving. It is not, it is wood. It just looks like bronze. And down in the gift shop, there's another carving of Big Tom's head that his grandson did out of a piece of wood from Big Tom's cabin.